Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I want to show you guys is how to mix stucco in a Tobo stucco machine. They make these a wide variety, Essex, White Man, and 10 other different varieties. I'll show you what I used to do when I was union. Or actually, I'll go way back to 1979, 1980 when I was working for Sam Hoff. The Hoff brothers, Lathers, Plasters, all excellent guys. I'll show you, we used to use a, a barrel and generally you start the mixer and right now I have it on its lowest setting because I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm saying. Now we start the mixer up and it's on the lowest setting. First thing we want to do is wet the blades. Wet everything. Wet the blades, wet the inside of the mixer. You can close your eyes and do this stuff guys. The idea is if you don't wet the blades, when you put your bag of cement in there, and it doesn't matter what kind of cement you're using, if you use in Portland, Eisenwall, or 20 other different products, you got to wet these blades, otherwise it'll stick to the blade. Then what, what I used to do when I worked, when I first got into hod carrying, and uh, <laughs> hod carrying got its, its name right, because I tell you what guys, it's hard work. That's how they, a lot, of, a lot of companies will call us plaster tenders too. So you're either a plaster tender or a hod carrier. And hod don't mean H-A-R-D like it's hard work. It's H-O-D, hod, because you carry a hod too. Now, the best way to do it, it, the material guys will love it, or the rental yards will love it if you do it this way. When I worked, I remember forgetting the bucket one time. This guy, and man, old Sam yelled at me, and I said, don't worry, man, I'm 19, I know everything. I said, I'll just put this on like this, put it right here, and, and let it, now it's, it's on and it's squirting. He said, damn it, Kirk, that's my mixer. You're gonna blow out my shear pins if you do that or blow the mixers up. These guys are called shear bolts, shear pins. And if you put dry mix in here, what'll happen is these got the name, they will shear off in half. They're inside here. You have to remove these and replace these. Say you get a real hard, stiff mix, after lunch it's stiff or you just mix it stiff you always blow these the rental yards are famous for you'll call them and say man i blew up my your mixer sorry guys and they'll say it's a shear pin that blew anyhow what i like to do is like what i used to do with oh sam he taught me this 30 something 35 years ago you take a bucket of water you dip it in here you get five gallons That's a full mix, guys. You could adjust it a little bit more water if you like. And what we did is, we would take a water hose, unscrew the nozzle when this goes way down. Drop that in there, let it fill itself. When it fills itself to over flood, put the nozzle back on and you're ready to go. Hang that nozzle, because you're gonna use it again. And since we're using a, since we're using a quick set material on this, eyes and wall, rapid set, I gotta put set control in it because uh, it's gonna be a hot day today. Anyway, what we do is, you can put two of these in, by the way, guys, if it's really hot. Cause you got about, I don't know, maybe, uh, well, I do know, about 40 minutes to, to put this on before it starts to set. If you have uh, uh, set control, we call it retardants, you can give yourself an extra half hour. If it's a really hot day, 100, you better put two of these guys in. They even sell this at a lot of the hardware stores now, too. Oh, it's called Rapid Set. So I'm gonna put this in. I like to mix it with the water, guys. And then once that's in there, let it mix for a second. We take this bag here. Now, what I used to do is I'd take a four footer and a long plank and have it so I could just stand up in the bag at my waist. But since I'm showing you guys how to mix and I haven't done this in about 20 years, Jason normally does it, but he's on the camera. I'll just go ahead and lift it. And what we do is we throw the bag on here. When I was doing this, I took a grinder to mine and I made it sharp. So I just pick it up, slam a bag, pull it up like that and it go in. Uh, this is kind of dull here, but here's the way to do it, guys. We take a bag. Oh, these got a lot heavier in 30 years. Take a knife, cut it. And then pull it open. Now, you guys, there are a lot of ways to do this. If you pull it open, I don't want it in my face, so I'm gonna try to get a little bit higher. 
You put that guy in there. On a windy day, it can be a real drag doing that. Now I have three to five minutes to mix this. So I'm gonna turn the blades off. By the way, guys, this particular material, three to five minutes to mix it. If you have a full wheelbarrow or a full mixer of it, we turn the blades off. Then we turn it only back on when we take it out because you're not supposed to overmix this particular material. Over here, all you fellas asking Jason how to do this or me, Jay generally does this. Now, here's a regular shovel. This is a scoop. Now, depending on the mix, you can put 12 to 15 shovel pulls. And that's a shovel, guy. If you're gonna shovel like this, that's not a shovel. You're gonna have to put 100 of those. So, if, that's a full shovel. That's one or two. And we put about, actually, it's like around 25 of uh, these regular shovels. The scoops is about 12, 12 to 15 max. Now the scoop holds twice as much. Again, now that's, a, that's one. I had it backwards a minute ago where uh, this is about 25, this is about 12 to 13. And you can adjust your mix, guys. It doesn't have to be that particular. If I'm doing ceilings, I'll use a lot less sand. If I'm doing walls, I'll use more. And if I'm scratching, browning, all takes practice, we adjust the mix. All right, guys, so we cut that a second ago, but we wanted to show you. My dad knows all the old school tips, how to mix it, but he hasn't been mixing for the last 10 years because I've been doing it. What good is showing you how to mix if we don't show you what it looks like when you're done? So once you've got your mix with this stuff, you can only go a couple of minutes. Here's what you want it to look like. You got it coming out of here. And the... The soupier it is, the easier it is. You don't want it too soupy, but you don't want it too stiff to where you can't spread it. So it's almost like kind of a cream consistency. And you push this stuff back in. Now I'm gonna bring this over and we're gonna get to work. Anyway guys, that's the consistency. This is Jason with Kirk Giordano Plastering and we will see you on the next one.